Hi 3D Printer Geeks, I'm Frank from Frank's 3D Shop and today we'll dry our filament. Yes! Go! <laughs> Why you should dry your filament? Because if you don't, uh, you're gonna have a bad print. Your printer is gonna do some bubble noise, exploding small bubble, and it's gonna leave holes uh, in the print when printing. So that's not a good thing because uh, the print looks bad. And let me bring you closer. Let's, let's do this. Go, go. So my solution for drying the filament is this little stove, you know, to do some pizza or sub. I bought this at uh, here in Canada at Kenny's Entire for, I don't know, 50 bucks or something like that. This is what I use to dry the filament. So what I did is, is this, this plug is controlled with this thermometer and I'm gonna put the link to a guy that did all of this and he, and he explained everything it's not exactly the same setup but it's it's uh, close so I do set the temperature here so say for PLA it's 45 and I have a temperature sensor that goes with it so let me just Let's do a, a real test. It's a nice wood PLA. So what I do is I put it in the oven. I put it at, e, at uh, about 60 uh, degrees or 150 Fahrenheit or 60 degrees centigrade. And then I put my, my sensor near the plastic there. And then I leave this, I, I, I don't recommend to leave it uh, unattended uh, if you don't want, uh, at least at first, because you don't want to burn out your house, you know. But it takes a, a really humid um, filament, it takes about at least 10 hours, 12 hours to dry it completely. I leave, I leave it, you know, one day. So this will control the temperature and also this this will turn off the power for the stove when this uh, sensor gets to 45 degrees centigrade and i have a small chart here for the different uh, filament i'm gonna show you show it to you in big it's from uh, print d dry or print dry yeah print dry they th they sell a a unit to do this so but I, I went on the cheap way uh, with a small stove and this is from uh, aliexpress i'm gonna leave the link below at about 10 12 dollars something like that that's a good thing to do and the trick here there is a trick let me take a a spool yeah it reached 45 degrees so it's it's di disconnecting that and the stove stop so you have two temperature control if this doesn't work, this will not go over 150 Fahrenheit or 60, 65 uh, centigrade. I think it's not a problem. But in a future video, I'm gonna do a gas detector, a smoke detector with a relay that will shut off everything here if there is smoke. So what happens is, is when, when the head moves and the filament gets, and when it's full, it sometimes gets over the edge and then you get a jam because as you see here the filament you know is hooked up and cannot extrude anymore or even it does a loop on itself like it moves around like this and then it jams so to prevent this if you put your filament roll say half an hour in the oven at the right temperature the the roll sticks to itself the filament is kind of 
sticking to itself. You see the filament is, is loose here, but if you move the part that is loose, this is not moving. It's sticking to itself. That's my trick. So even a brand new roll, I put it in the oven half an hour, an hour, something like that, because it's gonna make the filament just stick a bit with itself and not unroll on me and ru ruin the print. Uh, which happened to me, you know, a couple of times. But since then, when uh, after doing that trick, no more problem that uh, that way. And you can also just dry. You know, here it's really humid during uh, the the summer, and a, and you get and if you leave your printer running all day and you leave the roll outside of a, a dry container. Um, eventually about you know a month uh, it's gonna do bubbles and and because of the moisture inside the filament is gonna boil inside the nozzle and pop some some uh, steam and that will create holes in the print so that's my trick for today guys i hope it will help you i'm gonna leave in the comments all of the links needed for a similar stove the guy that did the uh, the setup, the electronics and the uh, thermometer for this stove. Be careful because you don't want to burn anything down. So be responsible. Watch it before you leave it alone. Or just you know be sure to be home and have a, a, a smoke detector. So if anything goes wrong, you're there and uh, and and you also. <laughs> so in my shop, I have this. That's also a good idea, having a extinguisher in the shop. So I hope you enjoyed this little video and, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below, please. If you have anything to say, go for it. And uh, see you on the next video.